brilliant. Oh, I think that video has been seen millions oh. of times. A chiropractor from Oklahoma is going viral for his unique clientele, Dr. Jorn Whitley. Not only helps people, but he also treats animals, including giraffes, horses, dogs, skunks, chickens, lions, snakes. Anyway. Yeah, he joins us this morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not a veterinarian, so how are you allowed to do this? So in the state of Oklahoma, I'm actually licensed to work on animals uh, as a chiropractor. I've gone through extra schooling. Um, I was then certified through our board and oh. also the uh, Oklahoma Veterinary Board. Can I ask how an animal lets you know that their back is hurting? I mean, I know animals in general. I mean, it's an, it's an odd thing. And how do you know you fixed it? So it, it really depends on what animal comes in the office. So a lot of our dogs and cats, it may be, hey, they're not jumping like they used to. They're not trying to get on the bed. They're not jumping off of things. They're, uh, maybe they're not running as fast as they were. Or the, the very simple things like, hey, they have a limp. Uh, those those things are kind of an indicator that something might be uh, not moving well. So we just refacilitate the motion that's supposed to have. And most of the time, and I'd say most of the time being like 99% of the time, we see an immediate difference after the adjustment. How did, um, how did, the, gi how oh, did the giraffe let you know? So it was actually the owner. She said she saw that he wasn't chewing from side to side as, as he did before. So whenever he was chewing, you could kind of see everything was stuck over to one side. And then whenever I made the adjustment, as soon as I did, his chewing went back to normal on both sides. Now, do snakes have <laughs> spines? Yeah. What am I missing here? Yeah, they're, they're one giant spine. Oh. One giant one. Huh. And I guess they're, you know you fixed it if they don't kill you. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, crazy story. I was working on a rattlesnake, and yeah. uh, I'm holding its rattle, and it's super angry, <gasps> and, and it's rattling. And as soon as I make the first adjustment, I quit rattling. And um, I mean, it was just a really cool experience. Wow. Now, how much is it going to cost me if I bring my dog in for an adjustment? Our first visit is only $65. Oh. Huh. Wow. Now, so what, yeah. do, what do veterinarians think about what you do? Is there a reason Oklahoma is the only state that you were allowed to do this in? So um, in Oklahoma, my license restricts me into Oklahoma, but there are other states that are actually bringing animal chiropractic on board as, as something that not only chiropractors do, but also veterinarians. Um, some veterinarians love it, and we have lots of veterinarians that refer over to us. And there are others that may not fully understand what we do, and so there's, I think, a little bit of trepidation with that. Um, but the, the field is growing where chiropractic is now being taught in veterinary schools, where they're realizing there's, there's a little bit more than just um, – I don't want to say just medication, but that you can also provide a, a way to kind of fix the underlying mm. cause. Um, so a little here's bit more a, here's hope the for thing. animal patients. With a person, you can say, okay, I've adjusted you, but I want you to start doing this exercise, and I want you to stop getting out of the car this way. With an animal, yep. don't you have to keep going back to fix it because they can't adjust their behavior? It, to an extent, yes. So it's, it's really on the animal owners, and I'm saying, hey, don't let them jump off of things. You're dog that is this tall shouldn't be jumping off of your bed. Um, your, you know, the, the little things that are going to prevent them from having to come back. There's also water therapy and a bunch of other things that they can do to help strengthen the spine, uh, get them out and be active more. But yes, uh, sadly, sometimes we do have to see them a lot more because Frenchies think they can fly and they jump off of everything and they're not going to stop. So. so we saw that viral giraffe video, which was really cool. What's the weirdest fix you've had to do? Oh, that has a very long list now. I mean, I've worked on lions in Africa. I've worked on a bear cat. Um, we've had, we have a lady who's a, a bat rehabber. She brings bats in. Oh, um, what a crazy stuff. Yeah. Wow. Well, well good you for are, you. You are, <laughs> you are doing work that not many people would do. So you can find him at OklahomaCairo.com or follow him on social media. Nice to meet you, Thanks, Doran. Doran. Very nice to meet you guys. Wowie. A bat. Yeah.